I didn't actively become a musician or a music listener until I was about 15 or 16. Everything before that point was acquired through osmosis. I had so many different experiences from my dad being a musician mm -hmm. and my uncles playing in the blues and Chitlin circuit of the Southeast United States and then playing, you know, folks like Jackie Wilson, Isaac Hayes, King Floyd, Lloyd Price, blues singers, folk singers, soul singers of the black idiom of that mm -hmm. time. Then you have my my sister who's listening to Cash Money Records and the Hot Boys and Alanis Morissette on cassette tape. My cousins who were advanced music producers at this time, producing, making beats, rapping. You know, I was studying classical piano lessons. My mom, she insisted that I take classical music. She was not a musician, but a very erudite person. She had two degrees. She was an environmentalist before it was in vogue. She would tell me to read books and, and things that I didn't have any real connection to in my environment, but it just kind of got me to thinking about a lot of things. And then I played sports, played basketball competitively until I was 14, 15, won a national AAU championship and things like that chess championships. I was a gamer and a comic book kid more than a music fan. And then I also went to jazz camps because I'm in New Orleans and I'm studying with these guys who are like village elders. You're talking about Ellis Marsalis, Alvin Batiste, my late great mentor and the one who actually helped me to find my voice as a jazz musician when I was 15, 16. But this is when I was like 11 or 12 and I didn't understand a word he was saying and I was just doing it because it was another one of the many activities and things that I was doing. So I didn't really buy my first record or listen to music or say that this influenced that as a musician until I was about 15. I was ambivalent to it. It was just around me before that age. I wasn't really an active musician or considered myself a musician until I was 15. So it's hard for me to say that my drumming was an impactful thing on my piano playing because it was all just a part of this really rich tapestry of my upbringing that I was fortunate enough to be born into without even my knowledge of it being something that is so culturally rich or diverse. I just was in it. And I actually was more ambivalent to being a musician than anything because everybody was a musician on my father's side of the family. So it was just like, well, I do this, but <laughs> I don't want to do this for a living. Get proud and feel happy and thankful that, you know, I have a son that's blessed, so. See, because yeah. a lot of this is a, has, you know, exceeded our wildest imagination. 